Good morning, everyone. Let me fill the college campus. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, this is College Spirit. I'm very happy to be here in your campus. Thank you for the invitation, sir. Distinguished dignitaries on the dais, faculty members, and my dear students. I'm sorry to use word called student because you are friends now. You already crossed your graduation. So we are friends. Until last year I was also in campus, so I can very well feel each one of you. I was also studying and recently only got awarded my degree. So doctor is recently used term, you know prefix used for me. So I understand and it's indeed a pleasure to speak to you, the youth. And today is, I think it is the 100th day of the year, 10th April. And that, you know, represents perfection, 100%. So 100 day, 100 day of the year, and I'm here in front of you. I'm not, you know, pessimistic guy, but I always believe in reality. You may feel at times, Hello? or it may sound a bit bitter, but I would like ah, bolo, to bolo. something bitter truth. I generally don't like to talk about education because this could not be the platform because we need to talk I with Jyotir sir and you know NC Shah sir we need to talk about it but still at the same time I feel that at least being the youth part of this you know society you should come to know about it and it spoils at time health also when we talk about our education education system you know, we all cheer up, we all are very happy and outside, everywhere, we say that India is the youngest country in the world. And it is indeed, 63% youth is between, you know, below 25 years in our country. So, world is yours. I am I'm also now in uh, 2G, not 1G, like back, I will have to go. I am not like you, because I have crossed this stage. But the only problem with our education is that, you know, we are not able to stand globally and our rank in PISA report, it shows 76 out of 78 countries. Our happiness index, which recently got released, it shows our place in 116 number in the world out of 192 countries. And it is pathetic. I'm very sorry to say you, I'm talking to engineers. I have not studied engineering. I perhaps I couldn't do it, what you could do it. So I congratulate you for being engineers. But the only problem with our engineer is that out of, you know, six lakhs every year, engineers are produced from our countries. And one lakh, 20,000, they get job what they deserve. I mean, of whatever respective faculties they have studied. And rest, either they are doing some other task or related kind of job and is is raises a very serious question. So what I feel that we need to introspect ourselves, engineers, you know, doctors, teachers, whatever the field may be, because we have crossed our stage, now you are going to face this. So where are the problems? Problems you are, you know, you can very well justify first the intention of education. Each one of you can ask to yourself, why am I studying? Generally, we are not, you know, good at listening. We don't listen. We don't answer to ourselves. I think when we listen, it is called wisdom, when we listen to understand something, not to reply. So, you understand yourself. Why have I done engineering? Or what am I going to do the next? I think each one of you must ask this question. I am not asking this question or not telling only to those students who are achievers or those who are having farewell and going to the society. It is for everyone because those who are achievers, excellence, awardees, you know, as rightly sir, uh, sir has said that you will have a lot of expectations from yourself as well as your family members also. But I can say that getting excellence or getting award or to be on the top it shows that you are qualified to compete 
it raises your confidence level it is not the guarantee that you can make your career or you have done everything the best so still lot of things to do and those who are going to the society they need to still connect with the society jyotish sir was telling that we should have a modern school in campus i do believe because i have traveled many countries many educational institutions i have visited and there i i feel that they have got this modern school and from there the philosophy you know legacy they carry so juniors you know they follow the seniors so uh, those who are having farewell i think you should establish some milestones that your juniors they may look at you and they follow and remember my dear friends this is not the end you just have started now you don't feel that we have got our degree and it's over simply believe that you have simply just started and i am very sure two problem one it is of intention of education why why should i study and second one good institutions you are lucky enough and i i rather should have naman to sir that they have gifted such a beautiful university so you are lucky to have such nice college in your you know this area so big clap for your donors because this is a challenge i have visited many colleges and we see you know the problem and you also know about it so students you know feel the campus introspect yourself and then go ahead now it is i'm i'm reading the history of uh, education about uh, english medium education then uh, about you know uh, various campuses the first english medium school in surat it was established in 1832 something like that 1832 and when we go back about gujarat there was institution called valbi those who are from savaras and many of them they are there i am also one of the part of it from that then so i can understand i can i can just visualize there was a university called valbi and uh, now it is far 39 kilometers today's valbipur it was a well known university of the world and there not only this day to day education was taught but rajaniti then uh, you know engineering then medicine all these you know faculties were there and students from different part of the world they used to come here they used to travel 6300 students were the residents that is it was the residential university 6300 students all together they were studying in malbi and today's world we put imagine education you know it is the diamond it is changing every day every day day by day day by day day by day day by day and at times if students if faculties if institutions they may not you know focus may not introspect then can vanish also so change is the way change is growth change is life and that you are made for students remember that your merely degree will not help you must acquire some skills the only problem with our graduates post graduate is that you know when you go to the community when you go to the society you find yourself bit stranger because still i am studying still i am studying still i am studying and we do not just focus other areas other part of the other segments of the society so what are the demands of the society what the society will expect after 5 years when you are actually in the market what the corporates will expect from you what kind of skill you will require after 10 years that you need to start planning from today and that was one of the reason perhaps sir was asking that go and meet your faculties we generally do not plan for one year or two years we plan for the next generation and you are the best person to judge your abilities you do not require any other certificates the certificates of degrees you know it qualifies you and again i am repeating the words it doesn't give any guarantee and if you want guarantee you need to ask yourself that what am i going to do and how am i going to do
it is the skill it is the innovation and it is the idea that will rule the world and time you know we feel that last time in past it was like this in future it will be like this time is universal and infinite it is we we decide that in future in past in uh, present time doesn't know anything about time it goes on and you need to maintain the space along with the time so students you know when i when i go to the campuses when i watch movies i feel very happy how nice it is to be you know daydreamer and this and especially for engineers this rancho's character is one of the best characters ever i have you know come across rancho 3 idiots it has uh, changed the definition of uh, idiots also you know people they say the idiot is like a uh, innovator something who thinks be differently but at the same time we miss, must remember that merely you know being rancho is not enough rancho was respected rancho was you know we like rancho because he was one of the toppers toppers in the sense he had lot of ideas create that and then make noise i don't think that anyone uh, will you know raise questions go to the you know world and register your presence and without something new you will not be able to register your presence anywhere this 120000 students who get job i'm not telling you out of 6 6 lakhs they may have some different qualities among them otherwise it is difficult so i'm i'm i compliment you and i wish you that you be among 1.20 and i'm very sure that the you know the students from this alumna of this student uh, of this campus are doing excellent and uh, uh, the record may be there and you are also going to do wonder so students have wonderful time ahead do best think best and develop some core values generally when we ask a question what is our culture we do talk about you know the way we walk the way we talk the way we you know behave it is the behavior of pattern but actually values and culture it is bit different it is bit different we are having lot of corruption in the society we are having you know excess pollution and still we say that we are civilized people you need to be honest you need to be true to yourself true to the nation true to the society you need to understand your own value because you are very precious you are very precious the only thing when our prime minister he talk that we have we will have the largest youth in the world and we will change the world we will change the globe and india will govern it, it will be the guru leading from front but at the same time believe me those 63% 65% youth after 20 years they will also be old and new challenges will be there in the society we are never going to be young forever so other challenges also will be there and i think big engineers you may have all the solutions of these problems think about it because you know when i was coming back i got late 15 20 minutes it was the traffic problem jam two three places and i came back i i i am not an engineer but you as an engineer you should think something about how to solve these problems and that you only can do it we cannot do it so students you have got lot of potential believe in yourself do the best think be differently change your perspective to look at the society and about your career too career building is not merely getting job remember it career building is something else and you cannot claim somebody has got job so he has made his career career building at the age of 40 you cannot justify it you know till 40 you cannot say that i have made my career because every day every day you need to change every day you need to grow every day you need to do something great and that will make your career after putting so student i wish you all the best um, i'm very sure that you will have a nice time in your uh, academic as well as personal career thank you very much